Hey, what's up everybody? It's Meredith Jerk with Svelte Training and I'm super excited to show you this pomegranate elixir today. It is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna run you through all the ingredients and then we are going to drink it and be amazed. All right, so let's get into what we have here. So this pomegranate elixir, you see all these beautiful ingredients. The number one thing that we are working on is this tea. So you can have, this is black tea. Black tea has a lot of caffeine in it. So you could do black tea, you could do green tea, anything that's not super sweet, but you can also do decaf. I know a lot of times people don't love having too much caffeine. So you can use a decaf tea whenever you are doing this elixir. But the important thing is that we've got black tea here. You're going to keep it um, steeping for one to two minutes. The longer you keep the tea bag in there, the more strong the taste will be. So it's really just up to you. So you're gonna watch me pour this in. Can't tell you that it's gonna be pretty because it could be ugly. Okay, so here we go. Do it fast so you guys can see it. So it kind of looks like iced tea now. Now that we've got this, what we're gonna do is put in an orange marmalade. So this orange marmalade obviously has a ton of vitamin C, help boost immunity. So about a tablespoon, and I know that might seem like a lot, you don't have to put it all in, but when it's warm, it will melt, so it's gonna be really great. And at the bottom, you can kind of see, we've got a little bit rolling, so it gives you a little bit of texture. Then we're going pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice actually helps reduce inflammation and help with joint pain. So pouring that in, you don't have to do every, all of it because it's gonna maybe overflow, but you're gonna start to get those great flavors and also the change of color, especially in the light, you're gonna start to see that orange marmalade settle to the bottom. Then we've got pomegranate seeds because this is going to give it a nice little crunch when you finish, especially at the bottom, which is awesome. So maybe a handful, like a teaspoon. So, sorry, tablespoon, putting it in, mix it again. And then of course, None of my recipes are finished unless you add a little bit of cinnamon, which is gonna help reduce inflammation and reduce blood sugar levels so you're not spiking blood sugar levels. So dusting yourself off here, give that a good mix. You're gonna finish it with rosemary, throwing it on top and a couple pieces of orange zest. So that's gonna, you're just gonna let it sit. When you do this, it's gonna just soak up all those amazing flavors. It's going to help with inflammation. It's actually gonna help reduce blood sugar levels, which helps reduce your appetite. You can have this in the morning, at night, just depends on if caffeine really rocks you the way it does for me. So I would have this in the morning, stir it up, let it go. Mm. It's actually really, really good. Sometimes when I make some of these things, I'm like, mm, I don't know about this mix of ingredients, but I gotta tell you, it is awesome. So if you like this recipe, for more amazing elixirs, just dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever you're looking for, we've got awesome videos on that, plus workouts, so check them out, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next one.